Welcome back. In this video, I want to talk about some Splunk deployment models, some ways that you can deploy Splunk. Before we do that, we need to understand the basic components of any Splunk deployment. And there are three basic components, the search head, the indexer, and the forwarder. The search head handles the search requests. It's what users log into and perform Splunk searches. A lot of the system resources and heavy lifting are consumed at the search head. The indexer acts as a middle person. The indexer takes raw data from forwarders, tags it with some metadata, which turns it into what Splunk terms as events, and places those results into an index, which Splunk calls a bucket, and it's just a directory in the file system. Forwarders, of course, forward raw data to other parts of the deployment. This means it can forward to an indexer or to a search head indexer combination. There are two main types of forwarders, a universal forwarder that requires very little configuration, and a heavy forwarder, which you can fine tune for your needs. So we'll take a look at a variety of configurations on the next slides, but I want you to keep in mind that no matter what the configuration is, Splunk has a data pipeline that includes four phases, input, parsing, indexing, and searching. And each of the three primary components of any Splunk deployment play a part in the data pipeline. The first deployment model we're going to take a look at is what Splunk calls a departmental deployment. This is where we have a single search head and indexer combination. And again, you provision this indexer search head combination by just telling Splunk what it's supposed to be doing once you install the search head. This is appropriate for up to 10 forwarders, so 10 systems forwarding data into this search head indexer. And Splunk says it's appropriate for up to 10 users. Pretty small deployment. The next deployment we're going to look at is a small enterprise deployment. And here you'll notice we split out the search head and the indexer. And we add a couple more indexers because we're adding a lot more forwarders in the small enterprise deployment. We're expecting 100 to 200 systems forwarding data, so we're going to have two to three indexers, and we can still have a single search head. In the large enterprise deployment, we also have lots of indexers that are load balanced, and we might have thousands of forwarders along with the deployer which manages the search head cluster by sending the cluster members configuration bundles. Now in the deployment server architecture, and this is also known as a distributed deployment, we will have different classes of servers. So for example, we have the Linux server class here and the Windows server class. Those are going to get different configurations based on their class. So when we put a forwarder on a new device that we bring online, we're going to assign it a particular class, and then the deployment server on the left side there is going to deploy configurations based on classes. So this is a way to easily manage large groups of forwarders that are on different platforms or otherwise have to have different classes. These forwarders still forward to the same indexer cluster, load balanced indexers, and then those indexers forward data onto the search head cluster, which is still managed by a deployer. Thank you for joining me in this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.